Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Turfway Park Report for Saturday, December 10th, 2016. Nine live races on the card. The poly track, as always, is labeled fast. Tonight's first race is a starter allowance event to go one and one quarter miles. Morning line favorite after the scratch of the three Logan Creek is number two, Ghost Walking with Gabe Lagunas. And they're off. Good even beginning for all. Fast start to the inside for National Defense. Ghost Walking came away racing the second position. Cozy Kitten right alongside that one. Here goes Thankless up from that sixth gate. And on the far outside, Uncle Mitchell is going to try to clear an angle all the way down to the rail as they race past the 16th pole for the first time. It's Uncle Mitchell, as they go under the wire, is going to get to the rail and show them uh, up top by two. Thankless and Sonny Leone back in the pocket spot. Old Mountain Lane really tugging hard against Utsair. Is third going to try to tuck in behind Thankless there as they race into the first turn. Then only for the back, Ghost Walking is dancing along there in uh, fourth, about uh, three and a half off the pace, and a length in front of National Defense, and Cozy Kitten is at the back of the pack. But the field compact, they're just about six lengths from top to bottom, the first quarter mile, 25 and three. So not all that fast to, up top for Uncle Mitchell. Through from between horses, there goes Thankless. On the three-wide side, Old Mountain Lane continuing to grab a hold of that bit. They are a length in front of Ghost Walking, who's taken off the top trio in fourth, about three and a half off the pace, and then a Link for the back comes Cozy Kitten up one spot, and National Defense is at the tail of affairs. Half mile, 51 seconds flat. They continue the run up the back stretch. Up top, it's Uncle Mitchell outside the half mile pole, shows him by a length. Old Mountain Lane has been parked out wide the entire trip. Here's Thankless being kicked along to the inside, trying to keep pace there. And Ghost Walking just had to check and check hard in the middle of the turn. And here comes from the back of the pack, Cozy Kitten as the field outside the quarter pole. Old Mountain Lane strikes the front. Uncle Mitchell is under the whip. Here comes National Fence exploding from last. Nowhere to go still for Ghost Walking, who's had a rough go of it the entire journey outside the quarter pole now. National Defense and Old Mountain Lane. These two do battle. The rail's open now for Ghost Walking. If good enough can come on through, here's Cozy Kitten to the stand side. One eighth of a mile left, and National Defense has taken over here. National Defense and Orlando Mojica opening up in the stretch here. Old Mountain Lane had no response. Cozy Kitten and Ghost Walking going to battle for the balance. Meanwhile, National Defense is heading to the winner's circle. National Defense from the Kiki Calderon Barn wins by four. Tight photograph for second between a tough luck Ghost Walking and Cozy Kitten, and then pace setter. Old Mountain Lane, there was fourth running time up on the board, 207 and one. Number one, National Defense was allowed to sit far back off the pace and was given the green light midpoint through the turn and took over and drew away convincingly under Orlando Mojica for trainer Kiki Calderon. The winner returned 620, 340, 260. Second, number two, Ghost Walking. Third, number four, Cozy Kitten. And finishing fourth, number five, Old Mountain Lane. The exacta 1840, the try, $39.60. Superfecta, $118.80. Running time, 207 and 1. Tonight's second race is a claiming event for the boys who have not won two races in a full calendar year. Scratch, number three, Bow Rush. They'll go five and a half furlongs. The favorite, number seven, Bartlett, with Jake Radosevich. All in line. And they're off. Fast start for Arkle Park, who came out running. Through from the inside, Arctic Sky, and down along the fence, High Mystery is punching up the rail there in third. Out wide comes Our Noble Heart, the 13-time winner in the Lawson Silks, has now raced up into third. That makes Arctic Sky back in fourth, one in front of 22-time winner Bartlett's fifth, about three and a half lengths off the pace as they've been in the turn. And a link for the back to Poncho, who is two in front of Brit's Boy separation of four, back to the Devil We Know, and a long, long way last is total immersion. First quarter, 22 and three, and there goes High Mystery and Periutes quickly clears off by four. On the outside, Our Noble Heart. On the inside, coming under a vigorous right-handed ride is Arctic Sky and looping up from the back of the pack here comes Bartlett says they straighten for the money the half 45 and 3 and High Mystery opening up on this field by the 8th pole High Mystery trying to give this field the slip Arctic Sky battling out for the balance with Call Me Red Our Noble Heart and late on the scene comes Brits Boy and Poncho but no doubt about it High Mystery High Mystery by about 7 in the line uh, 5 way go for the play spot photo for place running time up on the board for the 5 and 1 half furlongs 104 and two. In three, two, one. 
number one high mystery snuck through a long defense making that entrance into the turn and opened up with authority for the green hill stable number one high mystery ridden by Perry Utes for owner mike mcgarry he returns 1580 7 at 60 and 440. second number two arctic sky third was the eight call me red and fourth number nine the devil we know exacta 74 dollars trifecta 287.60 Daily double of one and one forty nine eighty. Superfecta three thousand four hundred ninety four dollars twenty cents. Running time for race two one oh four and two fifth seconds. Tonight's third race is a maiden claiming event for the maiden two year olds. They'll go six and one half furlong. Scratch number one yield to honor. Warning line favorite number two. All Hansons on deck. They're at the post and. They're off. Four beginning for the first are all Hansons on deck, but a fast beginning for Montu in the pink, who clears off by about a length early. Casal King racing in second through from the inside, the last profit, and the great call for help is a close-up fourth. On the outside, all Hansons on deck has came off of that a two start and has moved up into fourth up on the outside of Bar Trick, and at the tail of the field, call for help is last of the lot as the field head up the back stretch. It's Montu who shows the way, a link for the back to Sal King racing in second. The last profit rides the rail there in third. Looping up wide comes all Hansons on deck in fourth, two in front of the class chopper Bar Trick who starts to close in now, and still nothing yet from call for help. First quarter, 23 and three, and they got to get to Montu, the class chopper son of dialed in who shows a midpoint through the turn in front by three now all hansons on deck is in chase mode in second bar trick is idling along there in third and that's all for casal king as the field reaches the top of the home stretch and now it's go time for montu montu off the turn in front by three now all hansons on deck trying to kick on on the wrong lead there though bar tricks in third up the rail comes the last profit by the 16th pole it's montu montu and julie book goes to work when she's in front by eight and montu on two. Mon two is going to break the maiden here on the class drop. Wins it by almost nine in the end. Bartrick got up for second. All Hansons on deck was third. And then call for help was fourth. Running time, 118 flat. Number five, Mon two on the class drop here. Dominant in victory for trainer Joe Deegan breaking the maiden here. Returning 1080, 560, 380. Second number three, Bar Trick. Third number two, All Hansons on deck. Finishing fourth number six, call for help. The 5-3 exacta, 52.60. The $1 try, $107.50. The daily double, $125.60. Superfecta, $556.50. The pick three, $210.20. Running time for Montu, 118 flat. Tonight's fourth race is a claiming event for the Phillies and Mares, which have never won three. The claiming price, $15,000 down to 10. They'll go one mile, scratch numbers two, and six. Morning line favorite after those scratches. Number one, my calendar girl with Perry Oots. And runners away. Alona broke in a tangle, but it was a fast start towards the inside for My Calendar Girl. Also, Quality Street will be a pace presence, and adding some pep to the pace as well comes Spontaneity is a three-wide third. These three stack up in a line, four in front of Alona, who rides the rail. Heronetta on Polytrack debut is last of the lot, six lengths from top to bottom as the field circumnavigates the first turn just outside the six-furlong marker. Up top, Quality Street shows the way. By just about a neck now, Spontaneity glued to her, pressuring there in second. Two links further back, My Calendar Girl, eager to go on there in third, one in front of Alona and at the back of the pack, Heronetta. They're starting to tighten up as they pass the four and a half marker. They're five links from tip to tail here, and Quality Street still shows the way with that continuous token pressure from Spontaneity there in second. My Calendar Girl is spying on the speed in third. Here comes the gray, the favorite Heronetta, who moves into fourth, two and a half off the lead, and that puts Alona last of the quintet, half mile, 49 seconds flat. There goes Spontaneity, turning up the pressure. Quality Street trying to re-rally to the inside. My Calendar Girl still stalking in third. Heronetta parked out wide, but making good progress outside the quarter pole. It's Spontaneity on Polytrack debut. The jock takes a peek to the inside and sees Quality Street riding the rail. The dangers, though, to the out. Outside the gray Heronetta as they straighten for the stretch drive. It's Spontaneity shaking up on the front end. Down the center, Heronetta still continuing to grind away, but not, not doing enough at this point at even money. 
One sixteenth left for spontaneity, and spontaneity is gone. Spontaneity and Sunny Leone's gonna win almost two at the end. Second comes the favorite here, and at a tight for third, looks like Quality Street just edged out. My calendar girl in one thirty nine and three. Number seven, Spontaneity, takes him all the way up top to win a buy about two in the end, returning eighteen twenty seven dollars three sixty. Spontaneity, owned by the Hagen Hall Racing, trained by Tracy Nelson and Sonny Leone, the winning jockey. Finishing second, number five, Heronetta. Third, number four, Quality Street. Fourth, number one, My Calendar Girl. The Exacta forty eight twenty. The Try one hundred twenty three dollars. Daily Double ninety one dollars. Pick three four hundred seven dollars and some change. Running time for race four, 139 and three. Tonight's fifth race is a maiden special weight for the Philly two-year-olds. They'll race one mile, scratch the eight York Avenue. Morning line favorite to the outside at nine to five, number nine belted with a Bell Lascano in the irons. They are off. And the favorite, Belted, caught a flyer, but quickened his stride from between horses. There goes the first, or Tis Heavenly, and She's a Lot of Woman is up pace presence and down on the inside, lucky number ones. They stack up four across the track as they race into the clubhouse turn. Away in fifth comes Heavenly Awesome, out wide, never grow old. A separation of four back to Gold Serenade, and a long way last. Blame it on the bad boy, must be about 20 lengths out of it as they pass the six furlong marker. First quarter mile, 24 and one-fifth seconds. They straighten up on the back stride. On the inside, lucky number ones. Pressure to the outside by the firster, Tis Heavenly. These two are four links in front of uh, She's a Lot of Woman just to the inside of Belted. Then a link for the back, Never Grow Old, starts to close in. Racing with that head high, though, as they race midpoint through the back stretch. Separation of four back to Heavenly Awesome and still seven back to Gold Serenade and losing contact with the field. At the back of the pack, blame it on the bad boy. Half mile in a fast 47 and four. And Tiz Heavenly has shaken off lucky number ones. And Tiz Heavenly, the first time starter, looking strong up top. Tiz Heavenly in front by four. Lucky number ones is coming under a ride. Belted finally found her feet as the field outside the quarter pole. But Tiz Heavenly has opened up five links as they arrive to the top of the lane. Belted under... Vigorous right-handed whip as they straighten for the stretch drive. And Tiz Heavenly the one to catch. Tiz Heavenly by the eighth pole with a three-link cushion. Belted is under a full-out drive. Here comes an attack from Never Grow O down to the inside. Tiz Heavenly up to the outside. Belted down along the inside. Here comes Never Grow Old. Never Grow Old to the inside. Belted to the outside. These two will hit the wire. And Belted wins by just about a link from a game Never Grow Old. Tiz Heavenly the pace setter would not give up. Finished third. And then a long way back to lucky number one who is fourth running time 140 flat number nine belted the favorite needed every inch of the racetrack to get up to win it but nonetheless prevails to break the maiden here for template farm ignacio correas and abel lascano up top the winner 340 240 240 second the six never grow old third number four Tis Heavenly, fourth two lucky number ones the pick four for a dollar 1305.80 the pick three for a dollar, seventy-eight dollars seventy-five cents. The exacta was worth twelve dollars forty cents. The dollar try twenty-nine forty. The pick five for a dollar, two thousand five hundred seventy-one dollars ninety cents. The daily double came back forty-nine dollars and twenty cents. The running time for the fifth race one forty flat. Tonight's sixth race. Is a claiming event, a wide open 12 5 claimer to go six furlongs. Scratch number five, evening concerto, morning line favorite on the rail, number one, a green gold for trainer Kevin Fletcher. And they're off. Good even beginning for all. Quick start in the middle for Mutation, the favorite comes out running. Through from the inside, Green Gold's up pace present, right in the thick of it in the middle of those two comes Piner Cat. They're a length in front of seven-time winner St. Prado, who is fourth. Down along the inside comes the orange Jameson Silks and Arathorn, about four and a half lengths off the lead. Then a separation of three to Son of a Monster Cat, who's last of the sextet, first quarter mile, a rapid 21 and four. Green Gold to the inside, Piner Cat glued right there in the middle, up to the outside, mutation of favorite, a three-wide third. Here comes St. Prado, spying on the speed in fourth. 
fourth and Arathorn's going to need a seam. Arathorn, the jock has a handful of horse, nowhere to go. Finally going to tip to the outside here and son of a monster cat running on from the back. But meanwhile, St. Prado just opened up three on this field through a half and 45 and one and they spin for the money. St. Prado off the turn in front by two. Now clear sailing for Arathorn who switched to the sand side. Eighth of a mile left for Kevin Brown. St. Prado who's still in front by three. Arathorn being implored by Perry Utes under that vigorous left hand whip. It's coming at him and coming on. St. Prado, Arathorn, St. Prado. St. Prado under a heads up ride by Jack Gilligan. Wins by a length and a half. Arathorn was second. Long way back son of Monster Cat ran from the back to be third. Mutation was fourth. Running time up on the board. One, ten, and three. Number seven, St. Prado stalked a fast pace up top and was given the cue turn for home and kicked on and drew away under Jack Gilligan for the small town paddock. Kim Hammond, the winning trainer. Number seven, St. Prado, returns 583, 80, and 240. Second, number six, Arathorn. Third, number three, Son of a Monster Cat. And fourth, number four, Mutation. The exacta, 32.20. The try, $83.30. Daily double, $10.20. Superfecta, 325.20. And the pick three, $77.30. Running time for the sixth race, 110 and three. Tonight's seventh race is a maiden special weight for the Philly two-year-olds. They'll race one mile. Morning line favorite, number five, Wiley, for trainer Ben Colbro. They are off. Tardy beginning again for Wedding Day Kitten. Fast start for Lady Arya. Hustled on out. Quick into stride. Right alongside goes Wiley. And on her honor is going to tuck in there neatly in third. Down on the inside. Lady Shackleford away in the fourth position. Coco Channel is next. Then a couple of links for the back to Miss Spot on as the field races midpoint through the turn. Then it's a link to Broken Marriage and about two, two and a half links for the back to uh, Lady Shackelford, who's followed up by Kitten Slew, and a some seven or eight links back to Wedding Day Kitten, the favorite, is about 22 links out of it through opening quarter in 24 and two-fifths seconds. So up top, it's Lady Arya, shows the way by three parts of a length. Wiley glued right to her throat latch now in second. Looping up three wide on her honor is third. These three are a length, length and a half in front of Miss Spot On, who continues to make good progress in fourth and starting to unwind from the back. Broken Marriage has found her best stride as the field makes their entrance into the far turn. Half mile, 48 in three. So it's on her honor and Wiley do battle. Here comes Broken Marriage up in hand while racing third. And that's all for Lady Arya as the field outside the quarter mile pole. It's on her honors found the front. That's all for Wiley. Continuing to grind away to the outside. Broken marriage as the field reaches the top of the home stretch. And on her honor, turns him in. On her honor, well off the rail. Spins for the money. Three to the good. It's broken marriage just up the outside of Wiley. Here comes Lady Shackle for the huge long shot down the center of the track. It's on her honor on the wrong lead, but nonetheless is pulling away from this field. On her honor, the East Coast Invader Sharp on Poly Track debut wins by about five in the end. Lady Shackle for what's second. And Kitten Slew came on late to be third, running time up on the board, 140 and 1. They are racing. It's Cracking John, the first one out. Hunk of Burning Love right to that one's outside. Sailing Shoes is a three-wide third, and Trouble Charlie is a five-wide fourth. 
Saving all the ground is Laser Luke as the compact field of five makes their entrance into the first turn. Now they're about six lengths from top to bottom. Pace battle ensuing as Hunk of Burning Love wants the lead, but Kraken John's going to make him work for it. Stretching him just a bit won't allow him to clear as they pass the six form long marker and straighten up on the back stretch. So it's Hunk of Burning Love. Now, in fact, does clear and quickly opens up about two on Kraken John, who's back in second. Stretch of two and a half lengths back to Salem Shoes, then the short and hair entry. Laser Luke and Trouble Charlie are last of them all. First quarter, 23 and 4. So it's Hunk Up Burning Love on a long rain. Out there winging it at 3 to 5. Shows him up towards a half mile pole in front by 3. Kraken John still sitting in the pocket spot. Salem Shoes starts to get into gear. And now Trouble Charlie and Laser Luke are at the back of the pack. Half mile, 47 and 3. So it's Hunk Up Burning Love still up top. Kraken John is going to another, take another shot of him here in second. Three links for the back to Salem Shoes. Here comes Laser Luke as the field passes the quarter mile pole and they race to the head of the lane. Three quarters for Hunk Up Burning Love. One, 12 and 3 and they spend for the money. It's Hunk Up Burning Love by the 316 pole. Shaken up by Channing Hill and responding by the 8th pole. Hunk Up Burning Love in front by 3. Here's Salem Shoes the long shot. Salem Salem Shoes has dead aim on Hunk of Burning Love. Salem Shoes from the red hot Jeff Greenhill barn has got him. Upset in the eighth at Turfway. Salem Shoes wins by a neck. Hunk of Burning Love was second. Then came Kraken John, 139 and four. Number four, Salem Shoes gets up right on the money, running down the favorite Hunk of Burning Love. Number four, Salem Shoes give trainer Jeff Greenhill his second victory on the night. This one owned by the Greenhill Racing Stables of Sherry Greenhill and others. The winning rider was P.D. Prentice. The winner, 820-380. Second to three, Hunk of Burning Love. Third to Kraken John. And fourth, number one, Laser Loop. The Exacta 1480. The Daily Double, 12240. Pick three, one hundred twenty-seven dollars even. With that win in race eight, trainer Jeff Greenhill has four hundred ninety-nine lifetime wins. Running time for the eighth event, one thirty-nine and four. Tonight's ninth and final, a Philly mayor non-two claimer. They'll go a mile, scratch part of the entry. The one, hey, let's salsa and the five bog side. Morning line favorite, the six, Cheetan Hart with Jack Gilligan. They are. Racing! And it's Cheetah and Hard in the middle who broke sharply. There goes CJ's Bell at Sunrise up to contend the pace. And down on the inside, Ms. Liz. So Ms. Liz is going to hug that rail spot. No traffic trouble today for her in that first turn. And Ms. Liz will assume command by three parts of a length. CJ's Bell at Sunrise racing in second. Cheating hard a three wide third. A link for the back comes Pretty Penny Patty. Followed up next by Annie Indy. And then a link to Live Like Jay through an opening quarter of 24 and one fifth seconds. Then a separation of two. Miss Delstar rides the rail. A length in front of Live Like Jay. And a long, long way last. Right now is Blush Be Gone as the field continues up the back stretch. They have four and a half furlongs to travel. So it's Ms. Liz and Rodney Prescott. Show the way to the inside. Pressured by the outside of Cheating Hard and Jack Gilgan. Those two uh, are two links in front of CJ's Bell at Sunrise, who's being ridden to keep pace. Then a link for the back to Pretty Penny Patty, who is fourth. Down on the inside, the Florida Invader hard to pitcher starts to close in from the back. The half mile, 47 and two. So it's Ms. Liz. Shows the way, but here's Cheating Hart pressuring up to the outside. Uh, CJ's Bell at Sunrise has been in under a stiff drive for three-eighths of a mile. Here comes Pretty Penny Patty unleashing to drive and still continuing to close good ground is hard to pitcher as they arrive to the top of the lane and Ms. Liz and Rodney Prescott turns first. Here's Cheating Hard up to the outside. CJ's Bell at Sunrise is going to try to squeeze through the rail but the danger is hard to pitcher who's set down for the drive and hard to pitcher up to the outside comes right over the top of the pace setters but meanwhile here's Blush Be Gone. Blush Be Gone on the stand side is going best of all and Blush Be Gone is going to give Levenwood and Santangelo a Two wins on the card. It's blessed be gone by almost two in the end. A game hard to pitcher was second. Pace setting Ms. Liz was in a photo with CJ's Bella Sunrise for the third spot. Running time up on the board, 141 and three. Number 1A, Blush Be Gone, rallied from a worst to first to get up to win and pay $60, $21.60, Second, number 10, Hard to Pitcher. Third, the two, Ms. Liz. Fourth, the three, CJ's Bell at Sunrise. And fifth, number 11, Bumble Biz. The pick four, $4,270.60. No winners in the high five. Carryover better than $738. The pick three, $906.40. The Exacto, $192.60. The Try, $1,214.60.
and ninety cents. The late daily double of four and one returns one hundred thirty-six dollars even. Running time for the ninth one forty-one and three fifth seconds. Well, that concludes tonight's racing program. Live racing returns tomorrow, Sunday, December eleventh, with a first post of three p.m. From all of us here at Turfway Park. Thanks for tuning in. This has been the Turfway Park Report.